Scotsman saves the Scotsmen. Who's that? It's flying Scotsman. The feckant fellow has brought him to see me. Oh, thank you, sir. Hello, Gordon. It's wonderful to see you again. How have you been? I've been rather well since I last saw you. How have you been? Not very well, unfortunately, Gordon. I'm sure you've heard about what's happening over on the mainland. So that's the flying Scotsman, huh? Hey. But he isn't Scottish. So why is he called Scotsman? He must have been built there or something. He can't have been. He's from the LNER, so he was built in Doncaster, and that's near York. So he is a faker. Oh my. I wonder what that was about. And then, I finally did it. I finally reached 100 miles per hour. Gordon? Yes, Scotsman? Do those twin engines have something against me? They've been giving me dirty looks all week. Donald and Douglas? That's not like them. Normally it only takes a few hours and they get along with a visitor, or a new engine, like they've known each other for years. I'm not sure, but I think they're at the harbour going to pull a good strain. So I think I might go ask them. All right, Scott. See you in a bit. Good afternoon, chaps. I was just hoping I could ask you something. And what would you like to ask us? Well, over the last week, it seems you two have been giving me strange looks every time you pass me. Why is that? Well, I don't have anything against you, but... You're a fake Scotsman. What do you mean I'm a fake? I'm the real engine. No, you're a fake Scottish engine. Back on the Caledonian Railway, we refer to all Scottish engines as Scotsmen. You're not Scottish, so you're a fake. He always was a stubborn engine, but never this stubborn. Who knows? But I think I'm going to try and stay away from Douglas until I go home. His twin is alright, though. He doesn't have a problem with me. Yes, he always was the more reasonable of the two. <whistles> well, that's my guard's whistle. See you in a bit, Gordon. Goodbye, Scotsman. When Douglas gets back, I'll talk to him about how he's been acting. You shouldn't have been so rude to him. He is a visitor after all. I don't care. He was a fake Scotsman, so I treated him as such. Donald, are you feeling all right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just a bit tired is all. Donald, are you okay? No, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Oh no. What are we going to do? Wonderful. Fake Scott. Shut up, Douglas. He's the only engine that can help us right now, and he's done nothing to you. Dear me. What's happened here? My safety valve popped in. We need your help to get to Vickerstown, please. Of course. I'm always happy to help an engine in need.
Do you still need help? Or do you want the faker to go away? No. I'm sorry. I was just being stubborn. I thought because I'm from the Caledonian and you're from the LNR, you were a fake Scottish engine. The reason I'm called the Flying Scotsman is because of the express train I used to pull from London to Edinburgh, which was also called the Flying Scotsman. Well, that makes more sense. Don't worry, Donny. You'll only be here a few days. I'll come and visit you tomorrow night and see how you're getting on. Donald just smiled. He was happy that his twin was over his prejudice. Goodbye, Donald. It was lovely to meet you. I hope I'll see you before I leave. So you and Douglas get on now, hmm? Yes, he understands why my name is Scotsman. Tender the marks of distinction. Everyone knows that. Why has he got two? He's famous. And the other railway has no coal and water. Puh! I can't believe that. I never boast, but I always work hard enough for two. I deserve another tender for that. What's More worse? Of this Why is he called the Flying Scotsman? You don't see him flying, do you? I pull the Flying Kipper, but you don't see hmm. me flying when I pull I it. wonder. No, because it's a fish train and I'm an engine. Engines can't fly for oh, goodness Henry. sake. What? Would you like my tanders? And I think we know the rest of the story, don't we?